Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duo Serum here today, back with another Black Desert video. So I know in my video yesterday I said I wasn't going to make a patch notes video because I feel like crap, but then the patch notes came out for today, January 19th, and I was like, hey, this is a big nothing burger, I can knock this out real fast without uh, causing too much mental pain. So yeah, here we go, patch notes video with Evil Duo Serum. Starting off with the events like we do every single time, the first event is a login reward event. Log in for 60 minutes, you will get the event Lucky Rise Sieve. You can take the Lucky Rice Sieve over to the NPC Camellia and Velia, and if you don't know who that is, you can use the Find NPC function in the top right corner. Camellia, that's probably close enough. And it'll drop a waypoint on your map to where you need to go. She'll give you Tender Brace, Short Ribs, which gives you Drop Rate plus 10% and bonus damage to monsters. So, um, yeah, that's event number one. Event number two, Login Rewards for Logging into the Game. Nothing too crazy out of this one. There is a Dream Horse Training Rarities box, which inside of that box does have a Krugdollar's Origin Stone, so if you are going for Dream Horse upgrades, um, something useful to pick out of there. You can only pick one of the following, by far the most uh, valuable option in there. It's kind of crazy, like this pricing that they have set up with it. The final event is more targeted towards my EU viewer base, and actually only my EU viewer base, although I guess if you play on the Russian servers and watch my videos, you're a part of this as well, but it is a new little event going on between the two regions of EU and Russia. So there's going to be a global conquest war between the two regions, the top three guilds in the territory of Calpheon in each of the regions. I went to the um, Russian page here and translated it as well. It's the same exact information that's on the um, NAEU website. But basically, top three from each of those regions, so EU and RU, will compete on a tournament at a later time. So if your guild does do the conquest war system on January 29th and you are one of the final three in Calpheon, you'll be uh, put into this thing, so if you're into that sort of stuff, probably should read these, because I don't do any type of PvP in this game, and probably not the most important person to get this from, but something pretty cool, a little cross-regional gameplay if you want to partake in it. And that's it for events, so now let's move on into the actual patch notes themselves. First things first is on the character side, there are a ton of changes to Black Spirit's Rage scalings for most classes here, so I'm not going to read each of these to you. Hop on over to the patch notes page and see which ones of your skills for your class got increased. Pretty much buff across the board for every single class, or just about every single class. Next thing we have are changes to the red battlefield. So the Valencia City map has a new scoring system implemented. And the old red seals that you would have gotten from partaking in red battlefield, these guys right here, red seals, are now getting changed into a new token called a battlefield token. These have a better exchange rate for red essences that you can get at the end, so 50 tokens for red essence as opposed to 80 seals. And the rewards for victory and defeat have been improved as well right here, you can see. For those of you that do grinding, there were some changes to drop rates of various items, so the biggest one that I see right here is a drop rate increase on black distortion earring by four times from the possessed apostles mob in Star's End. But there's also some rare crystal pieces that have also gotten drop rates increased. So maybe just like pause the video and look at this yourself, see if any of the places you grind have additions made to them. The final major change to this is the addition of the ability to exchange the auras you've been getting from your bosses, your Dark Rift bosses, for boss gear from them, and after you complete the boss gear exchange, you can get memory fragments. So all of these things right here, these latent auras from the different bosses, like 32 griffins, whatever these things are from your Dark Rift bosses, cannot be exchanged once you get 100 of them for the boss piece that corresponds with them. So you'll hit that system roughly in about two years. Really well thought out and implemented. And that's assuming the boss spawns at least one time a week for you, which you and I both know isn't the case. So, thanks for all this. And otherwise, yeah, nothing else too crazy with this patch, guys. Super quick video. I'm still sick. Can't go too crazy. Not a ton of emotion today. But hey, you know, I'm still doing my job for you. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you at videos in the near f <coughs> future. And yeah, thanks so much. Hopefully see you this weekend at a live stream if I'm feeling better. Peace.